It's October 1st. Welcome back to Bali part four. Welcome to a new vlog. Today's Sunday and I'm having the most chill day so far. Luke and I slept in so late today and then we went to this place called Protein Island to get some breakfast, which was in the intro of this vlog. And it was so good. There's so many healthy places like that here in Chengdu. I think that's one of Luke and I's favorite things out. Chengdu is how, how much it caters to people like us and how much it caters to people who care about nutrition, getting their protein in, working out. We're super happy here. We've been here for a month now, which is crazy. The time is flying by. We're just totally getting into a routine here. Today we're really taking it easy, which is my favorite way to spend Sundays. I really, truly believe Sundays are meant for resting. And we were thinking about going to a party today or going to a beach club. And I'm ha so happy that we didn't do either because I'm having the most peaceful day ever. Luke is feeling like he's catching some a little bug. So that's mostly the reason why we're chilling. He's just in bed watching movies, which is so out of character for him. He's such a workaholic. We just ordered some lunch from that same place that we got breakfast from because it was like so good. It's just so cheap to order food here. And it's also nice to not have to cook. It really adds to the Sunday vibes, just ordering food in and chilling at our villa. Salad you. Luke and I have both got these chicken salads, which I'm gonna toss up for us. And then Luke got this massive protein shake. <laughs> Luke and I just got a second Gojek order. We got some acai. It's like four hours later, so we were craving a little snack. And this is our favorite acai place. It's called the Acai Shop. And they do like pure acai, so it's like so good, no sugar. And we got a large and I got small. Small is like the perfect little snack size. You guys will never guess what just arrived. Another food order. This is our third food order of the day, which is actually crazy. I don't think that's ever happened to us before. Luke, Luke and I are not usually ordering people. We just got dinner delivered. We got some sushi from our favorite sushi place here. It's called Tiger. Luke has literally been eating all of his meals in bed, but I think I'm going to try to get him to eat at the dinner table with me for dinner. Luke doesn't want to come outside because he thinks the mosquitoes are going to get him. So he says we can have a picnic on the bed, which I'm kind of down for. Some soy sauce. This is our little setup on the bed. Luke wanted to have a picnic. We're having a picnic on the bed. It's very much Sunday cozy vibes. We're in like the room that we don't use. It's like two twin beds. But this is where we've been posted up. And then I've been at this desk all day. Just doing like admin work. It's been a very big passive hanging out. Do you want me to put it away? Our gym membership ended because we just got a month so I think I'm gonna switch to going to Pilates there's so many Pilates studios here and that's definitely one of my favorite workouts so I want to check some out I'm gonna try a new one today and it's a 45 minute walk and you guys know me 
I love to walk, so I'm gonna walk there. So it's 4 p.m. and my class is at five. Um, I've got a new workout set on, which I love. It's like a baby blue color and the back is so cool. I don't know how to show you guys, but it's like, it's like crisscross. I got it from a local store here in Bali and it's so comfy that I literally want to go buy back and buy this same exact set in like every color. this morning so it's really good that I did wake up. I obviously don't want to miss that. Luke's meal prep just got here. I got him on this meal prep plan because he works in an office and he said he was struggling to like feed himself and obviously I can't feed him if he's not home. So I feel like this is the perfect option because he's going to be getting a ton of protein. It's like super super healthy. It's just easy for everybody and it's honestly so affordable. The stuff actually looks really good. I got him just a small meal meal plan so that I can, we can have flexibility like go out to dinner sometimes. But it's from Body Body Factory and they do really good, really good job. They do always give a protein shake, a little protein brownie, and then they give two meals. Which day it looks like they gave like a lot of things. Do you guys see that? Two lizards just literally fell from the ceiling onto the ground right here. That scared me so much. This is the Pilates outfit of the day. We've got aloe shorts and a crop shop boutique sports bra. Feeling super Barbie today. With my spray tan, it really adds to the whole look. protein smoothie for lunch because I really don't have much at home. I'm getting ready for bed. It's been a really boring day because Luke is sick. He's just in bed all day. So I've been like hanging out with him, just doing admin work all day. I feel like I've had a groundhog day for the past like three days. But at least I went to Pilates, so that was definitely the highlight of my day. And it's something that I'm able to structure my day around. It really helps me like give a purpose to my day. So I'm gonna go again tomorrow. And I'm really looking forward to it. I walked to Pilates this morning and walked home and for some reason it felt so hot today I literally like have like heat exhaustion and all I want to do is sit in the AC so I'm kind of recovering from my morning I think I'm gonna make myself a little tea because 
I'm so tired, like the heat really took it out of me. There was a lot of things I wanted to do today work-wise, so I'm gonna make myself a little tea. Luke is still sick, but he promised to speak at this event today, so he's, he's like getting ready for that. He's filming some things with a videographer beforehand, and then he's gonna go to that event, so I'm gonna be kind of alone today. black tea bag and then some homemade almond milk with some lion's mane so good literally tastes like chocolate maybe it's just because i haven't had a hot chocolate in so long but the fact that lion's mane is tasting like chocolate to me is a little concerning but the lion's mane is like so good i've really noticed that it helps my helps my mood and focus and energy luke originally bought him bought it that for himself but he has not been drinking it so i just have been stealing it from him one of my favorite things about bali is i feel like my daily chores are just so minimized the cost to get someone else to do them is so low for example this is our laundry that just got delivered we also have three house staff who's here full time which is so helpful because they literally take our clothes from our hamper bring it to the laundry people and there's like a laundry service that does the laundry and then the house staff goes and picks it up for us and then brings it back to us all folded and ironed it's like so amazing and all of this laundry is literally like under five dollars to get done so it just like makes so much sense to pay someone to do it we don't even have a washer dryer here so you kind of have to go and pay these laundry companies to do it for you with the house staff they also make our beds for us every day and do our dishes like i literally don't do anything and then on top of that i don't cook really because luke's on his meal plan and then we also like to go out to eat so much here because like there's just so many healthy options so i feel like my duties as a stay-at-home girlfriend are so low and i feel like it allows me to focus so much more on my content which is nice but i feel like i'm gonna get so used to it and it's gonna be hard for me to go back to reality when i have to go back to the u.s the only negative part though is that i really like to use like natural detergent and they definitely use like super they use a really strong detergent like i can smell it, it smells like this like fake floral fragrance and i feel like it's not the best for my skin and just like to breathe it in all the time it is what it is and it's only for a couple months that we're here i don't really have an op any other option anyways it's not like i could go to the laundry place and ask them to use a different detergent yeah i mean this makes it so much easier for me to do laundry all i have to do is put it away so that's what i'm doing right now i'm just sorting the piles and then I'll put it away. The other negative is they dry everything. When when I do laundry, I like hang dry like 75% of things just to preserve them. So I've noticed some of the things when they come back are a bit ruined. So I've been taking our nicer stuff to the dry cleaners, as I was saying in the last vlog. But yeah, like for example, this shirt used to be like a bright pink and now it's like faded to like this like baby pink color my clothes are getting a little ruined here but it's all worth it and i literally can't complain i feel like i'll leave end up leaving a lot of stuff behind here as well because i traveled here with two suitcases and i am gonna be leaving one here and only traveling home with one so i really need to be picky with what i'm actually gonna keep and if some things are ruined that kind of makes it easier for me It is a couple days later. I have been so sick. All of yesterday, I had food poisoning. I don't know what it was. I don't know if it was like a stomach flu, a stomach bug, or a bally belly. I was so sick. I started feeling sick 
on Wednesday night and then I couldn't sleep all night because I was so nauseous. I woke up on yesterday feeling absolutely terrible. I was throwing up and I couldn't eat or really drink much water. I was feeling super weak and tired. So I basically just slept. I couldn't even look at a screen so I just had my eye mask on and I had my airpods in. I was listening to podcasts and frequencies and just literally laid in bed all day but I feel like I really rested and I woke up today feeling a bit better which is amazing because I was afraid it was gonna get worse and go downhill but I feel like whatever the bug was my body is like fighting it off the only thing is my appetite is still super low today all I've eaten is a protein bar and an apple and it's like 2 p.m. I'm honestly just kind of grossed out by food in general so it's a bummer, but I'm just taking it easy today because I'm not feeling 100% back. I was wanting to go for a walk today, but I just think it's too hot and it'll just tire me out too much. I'm just taking it easy. I recorded a podcast with Cass this morning, so that was productive. And I'm just editing that episode so that it can go live on Sunday. Yeah, I'm just having a really, really chill day. I've had a really chill week, as you guys have seen, which is super out of character for me. What do we have today? Mango passion fruit. I actually feel like that. Yeah. Pistachio almond chia seed protein bar. Overnight oats. What did you think of the donut, babe? It was really good. Everything is vegan in here. Which I didn't tell Luke that part. Because he probably wouldn't have been as excited. He's like, oh. Thank you. Oh, that looks beautiful. I got a banana coffee donut and then a matcha with coconut milk and they put pumpkin seed butter in it which just sounded so interesting luke and i's scooter died so we're stuck at the donut place what's another hour <laughs> manana so we have to call the scooter rental place to come help us there's our little scooter over there yeah. Oh, with the breakfast. Yeah, they give overnight oats today too. Whoa. Well, I'm gonna eat two meals right now. Okay, you pick which one. Luke and I are gonna have some of his meal prep for lunch. He just worked out, and all I've had today is a little donut, so. Are you gonna have one? I'm gonna have something. Not a whole one, though. So you just pick what you want. I'm gonna have these two. They did some good ones today. Hello guys, I'm realizing this has been probably the most boring vlog. It has been a boring week for me and I'm not easily bored. I've actually been working so much this week. I've worked 30 hours this week and I'm someone who doesn't work. And I've literally only been doing that because I've literally just been finding things to do because I've just been at home and I'm not someone who just sits around and does nothing. So I've been working, I've been editing, posting content, checking my emails, which I never check. Like literally just doing all the things I never do. And so I feel like I haven't lived in real life. I feel like I've like lived in computer screen all week, which is really obviously boring for the vlog. So I don't vlog it, which means I don't have a ton of content for you guys this week. But Hopefully next vlog I can get up to something more fun because I'm starting to feel better and I have a really fun content idea plan for next week. My appetite is not completely back. I'm just gonna cut up an apple. Yes, it's literally Saturday night. 
and I'm just at home eating apples and cashew butter. Luke is at the office right now, so I'm just home alone. We were thinking about going out to dinner tonight, but I just really don't think I have the appetite for that. I really lost my appetite from having food poisoning. It just really grossed me out by like most foods. So I don't know if we'll go out to dinner or not. And he also has meal prep. So it doesn't really make sense for us to go out to dinner. Maybe we do that tomorrow night because he won't have meal prep since it's Sunday. And maybe my appetite will be back. Also tomorrow we're moving the villas. I don't know if I told you guys that. So I'm really excited. I really like the area that it's in. So I hope that we like the actual villa. We obviously spent a lot of time at home. Luke is not gonna have his office space when he's there. He just got like a little co-working space by this villa. When we move to our new villa, he's not gonna have one. So he's gonna be at home a lot working. The thing about our current villa is it's like mostly outdoors. The only thing that's indoors is the bedrooms. At night, if you like try to hang out like in the living room, which is outdoors, you get like eaten by bugs. So it kind of, it's like a cool concept, but in reality, I just end up sitting in the bedrooms all the time, which is kind of depressing. I really don't like to hang out in bedrooms during the day because I like to associate them with sleep. So yeah, that's one thing that I know the new villa will be good. It's all indoors. I mean, there is an outdoor area, but like the living room, the kitchen stuff's indoors. So that'll be nice because we can like hang out in more places around the house. And also just during the day, it's like so hot here that I just sometimes want to be in the AC. So I end up like literally being in the bedroom so often. I'm sorry if I feel like I'm literally complaining this whole vlog. I'm usually a pretty positive person. I am like, okay. <laughs> I'm just, there's just been a series of events this week that's kind of put me down a bit. We've just got home from the office and we're gonna go grab some sushi. It's his favorite thing to get. I think sushi is your most requested food. How's it going over there, babe? This is my outfit of the night. A dress that I turned into a skirt. This Fashion Nova crochet and these Akira shoes. I'm not really giving fashion in this vlog. There you go. Of salmon sashimi. So, uh, egg thin. Yeah. Pieces. Yeah. And then can I get a, a shrimp miso soup? One miso soup. And then do you have a do you have a rainbow roll? Yeah, we have. You do? Yeah. Oh, where is it? Nice. I'll take a rainbow roll. Rainbow. Uh -huh. Yeah. Luke and I just sat down at this sushi spot. It's actually such a vibe. I think that's ice cream. It looks so romantic. But maybe we should get froyo after this. One thousand percent. We're actually going to order Froyo to the house while we watch Netflix. I've been also just sparkling water kick. Yeah, you never used to drink sparkling water. Before. It's so good. Wow, baby, you ordered a lot. I told Luke to order just for myself because I have no appetite. And this is what he ordered. Four dishes. This is looking like very promising. The salmon sashimi looks really good. Whoa. Is it? Wow. Definitely one of the best here. Wow, that's great. Uh -huh. We just found this random spot and it looked questionable, but. It's called Cunty. So far, I'm impressed. Oh. 